We're not very cultured. We don't get out much. <laughs> so we stopped right in the middle of the street. Oh, we've seen something that was magical. And we are back in the land of Dolly once again. Apparently this is the land of the white squirrel. It's been an amazing week. It's been stressful at times and frustrating with the rain to say the least. Yay, more rain! And we find ourselves back at the Wally World again. Morning y'all, Redneck Road Trips here and today we are traveling. We're getting ready to leave Florida and head to South Carolina. I don't know how much I'll film today because it's just a travel day. We're going to drive about eight hours. Um, we're headed to... I actually think it's North Carolina. It's right on the line, but we're going to the Fred Sims Church or Chapel. Uh, it's also called Pretty Place. We're going to video a little bit there and just kind of check it out. I'm, you know, I don't know how much I'm going to video there. It is a chapel. I don't want to be disrespectful. But um, yeah, we're going to head on out today and we'll get one last look at the beach before we leave. I'm going to miss it, but I don't know. I don't know if you guys are the same as me, but, uh, you know, vacations are nice. <clears throat> yep, we're a little fogged up. I don't know if you guys saw that, but, um, yeah, we're leaving the beach. But, um, I don't know if you guys are like me, but vacations are nice, but it's always good to be home. And there's nothing like your own bed. I mean, these beds, they've been pretty good, but you know, like I say, there's just, it's just, it's not the same. If you know, you know, you know, we've been sleeping in these little double beds and I'm just ready to get home to my king size bed and uh, kick back and relax and unfortunately get ready for the work week ahead, but it is what it is. I mean, you know, you gotta, you gotta make money to spend money. So, but anyway, Hopefully you guys will join us today, and this may be a two-parter, you know, this is my, I might include this video from today, and with the video from tomorrow, because uh, tomorrow we're just going to go do that, look at that chapel, and then we're going to go straight to the house, turn the van in, and all that good stuff. So anyway, hopefully you'll follow along, and we'll have a good time today. So we've made our first stop on the trip to the Carolinas, and... No southern road trip would be complete without stopping off at Bucky's. We're on the back side of it here, but um, we are at a Bucky's that kind of holds a little bit of sentimental value and significance to us personally. We're down here at St. Augustine, and this happens to be the very first Bucky's that we ever went to. Um, there is a Bucky's in Kentucky now, there's about to be two, but uh, we actually came to this one before they opened up the one in Richmond so this one's just a little special to us so we wanted to make sure that we stopped off here and filled up on our way back out of town be honest with you guys it's not as busy as what I'm used to well, there's Bucky yeah usually whenever we come into a Bucky's it's absolutely packed which it's not it's you know it's it's pretty busy but not like it usually is not like it was the first two times we came in here two years ago Yeah, it looks like this side of the store is a lot busier than the other side. Yeah, this, this side's a lot busier down here by the restrooms. We just must have came in on the not so busy side. Brisket looks good, but it's not my cheat day, so I'm not getting anything today. 
kind of weird. I've never seen anything like this before. It's like a, I guess a, a pull noodle. It's weird. to South Carolina. All right, y'all, we got about four and a half more hours of driving to go. We just crossed over into South Carolina. Had to stop for a restroom break, but I think now we're gonna get back out on the road and get out of here. Blue Star Memorial Highway. All right, y'all, we have made it to North Carolina. Didn't get a shot of the sign. Um, I didn't even see it. She said she saw it, but she said it was real small, so that's probably why I didn't see it. But we're in Hendersonville, North Carolina, getting gas. And uh, after that, we're just gonna go to the hotel. We've got some food we're gonna eat when we get there. And. Uh, Probably just go on to bed because we've got an early morning. Um, something that we found out is apparently the place isn't going to be open um, for um, sunrise. So it doesn't open until 8 a.m. So we're not going to be there for sunrise. And it's supposed to storm tonight, which means it could be cloudy. So uh, this trip just keeps on keeping things interesting I guess like, nothing has ever went to plan on this trip so, but anyway we will uh, we'll see how it goes I mean we're probably gonna be up there for 45 minutes or so and then leave anyways but hopefully we get we can get a good view but you know we'll just wait until tomorrow to see on that but anyway I will catch you all after a while yay more rain all right, y'all, so we are in, I think it's called Brevard, North Carolina. It may be a little echoey in here because we're in the bathroom, but uh, we got a crazy story to tell. <laughs> we're not very cultured. We don't get out much. But um, anyway, so we were in the next town over, and uh, we were getting ready to leave the Burger King. And uh, we came around the corner and a white squirrel comes running out. And we've never seen a white squirrel before. We thought it was albino. So we stopped right in the middle of the street. Luckily nobody was coming. Start taking pictures and looking at this squirrel. We thought we were seeing something that was magical. Yeah, we thought we were seeing like a once in a lifetime thing. You know, oh my God, it's a white albino squirrel. Then we get to this hotel and uh, on the front it says land of waterfalls and home of the white squirrel <laughs> and then we come in here to the bathroom which is why we're in here and above the toilet there's a picture of a white squirrel so <laughs> i mean you know being from kentucky we we always uh, all our squirrels are like gray Sometimes you'll see like brown squirrels are like a red, and then occasionally you'll get like a black looking squirrel. But never a white. Never <laughs> white. So I don't know. I just thought it was kind of wild and, and kind of funny, you know, because we're like, oh my god, a white squirrel, and then we get here, and apparently this is the land of the white squirrel. So there's plenty of them here somewhere. I don't know, but we saw one. So <laughs> we just figured we'd share that with you right quick. <laughs> Morning y'all, Redneck Road Trips here, and we are getting ready to leave out this morning and go to the, I think it's Fred Sims, I think so you say that, chapel, also known as Pretty Place. Um, it's about a 45 minute drive to an hour, somewhere around in there, but we're going to go up there. I'm going to shoot some video, but out of respect, it is a chapel. There will be people in there praying, and uh, I don't want to... Um, 
disrespect them or the place. So I'm going to film if they'll let me. I don't know if you can film there, but we're going to try. But I'm, I'm not going to do any like talking. So I'll just get you guys some footage of it. And that, that will have to do because, I, like I said, I don't want to be disrespectful or get kicked out of there. So, But like I said yesterday, we were going to do sunrise, but uh, it wasn't open to the public today for sunrise. So it opens at 8. It's a little after 7 right now. So we won't get there right at 8, but it should be pretty close. But um, hopefully you guys will join us today and we'll have a good time. Uh, this video will probably be part of the video from yesterday, so um, I, that's why I don't really want to make a big intro. I just want to let you guys know what we're doing. So, um, like I said, hopefully you'll join us and uh, we'll have a good time. Yeah, we've made it here at the gates to the Pretty Place Chapel. Um, we got here two years ago and the gates were locked because we didn't know that you had to come in, you know, that, that they only did it like at certain times of the day and some days it would be closed. Um, but yeah, we're here and I don't think we're, we're maybe like a mile or two or somewhere around in there from, from the actual place. So I figured I'd get out and just uh, show you guys the gate right quick before we headed on in. Fred Sims Chapel. Um, you know, we just kind of hung out for a few minutes and uh, we didn't get to see the mountains, but we did get to uh, sit here and just kind of admire the beauty and the sereneness and just take it all in. Um, you know, we were hoping that we would get to see the mountains, but with all the fog 
it just wasn't a possibility today but you know we only live maybe about five hours from here so you know we may be able to come back one day and check it out so um i guess we'll go ahead and head out of here um i may stop off at a rest area or something a uh, welcome center on the way and check in with you guys but um, until then we'll see you in a little bit So we stopped off here, uh, we're just into Tennessee, and they had a scenic overlook here, so we decided to stop and check it out. We are almost back home, back in the Appalachian Mountains. I think we've got about three more hours till we get home, so. You can definitely tell it's just starting to feel more and more like home. made it to the Tennessee Welcome Center here. I think it's neat how this kind of looks like an old cabin or something in here. Looks like they've got to uh, all kinds of flowers and things like most welcome centers and we are back in the land of Dolly once again I think we should get out of here and head back towards Kentucky. I'm sitting here trying to figure out what's what's with these musical notes here on the ground. I'm sure it's got to do with uh, Nashville and all that, but if you know, leave a comment below. Let me know. We've made it here to Virginia. We're probably about 20, 25 miles, I think, from the Virginia, Kentucky state line. I tried to record us going into Virginia, but it happened so fast, I don't think the camera kicked on in time. Um, it was right after we made a turn and then came off the interstate, switched onto another interstate, and uh, the sign was right there. So I was trying to navigate, and then I saw the sign, hit the record button, and I don't think it took you know, I don't think it recorded anything, but anyway, we're here at this scenic overlook. Um, I'll try to get the name for you guys here in a minute. I saw a sign uh, back there by the entrance, but I didn't actually get a good look at it, but we are literally right beside the interstate here, right off the highway. But uh, this is an absolutely incredible view. This is sort of akin to what we would have seen at the Pretty Place Chapel had it not been foggy, so that's why we stopped off here, but you guys just take a look at this. That's just absolutely beautiful. You won't find views like this down in Florida, so you know. I'm just glad to be getting close to home. I mean, we're gonna miss Florida, but we're not gonna miss that humidity and all that hot weather. But um, yeah, it's definitely starting to feel more and more like we're getting closer to home. Okay, so I found out this is called the James Walker Robinson Memorial Scenic Overlook. And there's a sign here for, I guess it's called Benj's Gap. I'll let you guys look at that for just a second. You can read it if you'd like.
But yeah, it's a neat little stop here. I'm trying to get back across the road without getting run over. Yeah, I guess we'll head on and try to cross over into Kentucky right quick. Well, y'all, we just dropped the van off. We're back home. And we find ourselves back at the Wally World again. Got to get some groceries and uh, head on back to the house. All right, y'all, we got some groceries. Now we're going to check, check out and get out of here. So we have got our groceries and we finally made it back home. Um... I just want to say I hope you guys enjoyed this little series of vlogs, whatever you want to call it, of our vacation. Um, hopefully you will like and subscribe and do all that other good stuff because we'd love to see you back here. Plan on doing lots of more videos. We're going to try to get out and hit some more trails and explore you know, some more of Kentucky, but also get out there and do some more theme park stuff as well and you know, just whatever we can get into along the way. Um, but it's been an amazing week. It's been stressful at times and frustrating with the rain, to say the least. But, um, you know, we've got to experience a lot of awesome things, a lot of good coasters on this trip. And, um, you know, we appreciate you guys that have stuck around or just stopped in even to say, you know, hi and see what we're doing and all that. You know, we appreciate you guys. So thank you. Uh, we hope to see you again. Um, we are going to probably do like a follow-up video, just kind of talking about the things that we liked about the trip and, and the places that we went to and all that. If you guys want to see that, um, you know, we'll try to get on that as soon as possible. But I think that's all we're going to do for today. We're just going to try to unwind and uh, do some laundry and just get caught up on everything. But anyway, again, thank you guys for, for watching and following along with us on our vacation for this year. And like I said, we hope to see you again. But until next time, y'all be good.